Hello guys, welcome back to Gaming Tippets, and today we're going to talk about a custom Sega Dreamcast BIOS in development. Uh, this BIOS is being uh, developed by the person by the name of Japanese Cake, uh, who's been working on a revised version of the instructions and software to allow uh, Die Hard fans basically more out of their Dreamcast console. Now, before I go any further, what does BIOS mean for people to understand? Uh, basically, BIOS is the basic instructions that tells your console what to do when you turn it on, uh, like, you know, all the built-in menu stuff to do. Uh, that's not game-related. Obviously, once the game boots up, then the game has its own instructions. But uh, that's basically what the BIOS does. The, the, the easiest way to talk about it, go in great detail, but that's basically uh, the simplest way uh, to boil it down. Uh, and he's decided he wanted more of his Dreamcast. Now, truthfully and honestly, before we go any further, most people simply aren't going to do this. Uh, one, uh, the, the work involved in it, because there's going to be a lot of work to get this to, to run. And two, a lot of people just don't want to mess with their console. They'd rather be happy and let someone else do the work than them to do this. It, it's just simple. A lot of people just don't want to do all the work. Uh, and truthfully, before we get further to this, you know, for those who people are a Dreamcast fan, there is a, it's known, you can, there's several YouTube videos on it where you talk about playing like Japanese Dreamcast games and American Dreamcast stuff. There's a really tiny program you have to download uh, and put on a disc, and you can actually play your Japanese games on your Dreamcast. It takes slightly more of a disc changing thing than anything to make it work, and it's a, a simple way around it. It's not a lot of work involved. So for most people, that's probably the option not this but why would you do this well number one obviously it's a cosmetic change to the current uh, menu system of the Dreamcast and number two it strips away all the copyright to make your Dreamcast a, a region free console so you can play a game from any region obviously the PAL version you know, Japanese American so you could play any country's Dreamcast game in your Dreamcast if you're someone who want to has one region free uh, what I mean by you know it strips out the copyright like, for example uh, no VMU copyright protected file check anymore. Uh, you know, no VGA uh, flag check anymore to see if the game, uh, you know, supports VGA output or not. Uh, you know, uh, the boot file uh, extent change uh, has been, uh, you know, basically not there, so it doesn't check the outer part of the disk for that. That's another way it does it. So it gets it basically strips it all the copyright so that you can basically just play any game in it. That's a Dreamcast game. Again, the problem with most people is that to do this, you require to know how to solder and have access to a chip programmer, which most people probably don't have a chip programmer, but that's what you'd have to do to do this. Again, I always say stuff like this is cool that it's in development. It's cool that people are doing this because each time someone does this and more people do the stuff like this for your virtual consoles, eventually you get to the point where you have something the average person can simply put in there, know how to put in their console and make work without the extra work eventually of soldering other stuff. It just takes a while for the stuff to develop before we get there. Like SD flashcards and stuff. That stuff will get there, it's just gonna take time. And, and I still believe the more people get all the games they want in their game collections for the consoles they grew up with, you know, the games they really want, eventually I believe like homebrew games and uh, messing around with stuff like, like this could be an option for them because I bet you you have those games you want some new experience on that console and obviously homebrew games uh, really help that out because again there are a lot of homebrew games being made these days people just aren't aware of them which i like to try to bring attention to them dreamcast is one of the consoles that obviously gets a lot of homebrew games compared to other consoles uh and uh it's awesome console and to me this is a cool thing for people to tinker with not something i would say everybody do but if you're someone who wants to tinker with something do something different with your console this could definitely be an option. Again, it's in development right now. It's not done. So uh, whenever that is done, uh, he does have a blog, which I'll put a link down below. Uh, if you want to see like his updates and what he's been doing with it. Again, it's cool that stuff is in development. This stuff seems interesting to me. Uh, people bringing new life to, to the older consoles that us who love it and, and trying to get more of it than they were originally uh, intended to have or ever thought of doing. Because the coolest thing is how creative people are. Uh, and coming up with this stuff, you never imagined to make this stuff work, right? It always amazes me how these people clearly find a way around all this stuff to make this stuff work uh, way people intended, but sometimes there's a little work involved. Anyway, let me hear your guys' opinions like always. Would you be interested in something like this? 
Or do you think it's just cool that's in development? Again, I think it's cool it's in development because he does this in revision, and maybe he'll do more revisions down the future and eventually uh, get a BIOS that everybody can do their Dreamcast if they wanted to. Again, that is just if you want to, not just say people have to do it. Anyway, that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll make another video soon. Laters.